Good afternoon. Um, so last week I looked at uh, create uh, the problem of not having an offset function in Bluebeam, and I created some profiles for marking out footpaths around houses, etc., which could then be used for things like kitchen cabinets offset off of a wall or something like that. But I then started looking at what if you want uh, to create offsets on a larger scale and for items with curves, etc. So like I looked at this road and you can see here the road is pretty an even width coming along here. But then here it gets wider on one side. And what if I wanted to see where that um, it kind of deviated from the standard width? Or what if I wanted to look at the curved lines down here and um, maintain this, the width of this road or driveway right the way through this section here and get that as, uh, ac as accurate as possible. Say I wanted to put a curved line through here to delineate from the driveway part here to this main section. How, how do you go about that? now? I've tried drawing a line here and then moving it over and moving it up and down. It kind of works, but it isn't great. So what I've come up with for this kind of these scenarios is a custom line style with basically offset lines. So if I show you what I mean, I've created this line style here and I've called it offset. It's based on a polyline. And if I just come down here and mark the center of this road, start coming around the corner. That'll do for now. So I've got offset lines. Now, what I've done to make this work is it scales on the line thickness. So if I change this line thickness, the, the outside lines spread apart. Now that's not quite right. So let me, that's almost there, 3.8 not quite um, almost right let's call that 3.9 and leave it at that so you can see the center of our lines are now over the center of the curved line through this section here so where I come around the corner here this side of the road here stays over the curved line but you can see here where the the road has widened. So the reason for making this up, it's not, as I say, it's not great with this line width being as it is, but say I wanted that to be uh, a rumble stripper, some granite sets around the corner. Uh, I've got this line here. I want that to be a curve. So what I can actually do is come down, grab my marker for my curve, and this will click onto the center line of my markup. So I know exactly where I'm going with these lines. And I can come around the corner. And join up here. There you go. There's my there's my curb line, and my standard road width has been maintained. Um, so then I looked at this section down here. So and I thought I haven't got a centre line marker down here, but what I can do is just create an offset to one side only. So if I come down here, hopefully I've chosen the right one and I mark this up and I come through here so 
happens. Again, I've got my offset line. So if I say six, six isn't quite enough. That's almost there. Let's call it 6.9. That looks better. As I say, it's, it's a bit disappointing that these, these get so wide, but as you can see, because we've used the highlighter, we're, we are able to see what's underneath. And once again, if I jump down to my uh, curve, I could come through here. Oops. go to the center line of this markup which it snaps to and there you go got my curve line um, another way of looking at this is say I wanted a one meter wide margin all the way around this driveway Instead of putting loads of little markers on there, what I can do is I can come over and I can let's go up to the corner. Oh. Let's, sorry, I'll start again on that. If I zoom in here. There we go, so we've got basically a one meter wide margin. If I come down to my offset. And just call my line round. Go to there. All we've got to do is thicken that up. So two, that's too much. Even less. That will do. And if I wanted that to be a grass verge, I could come down, pick my verge, mark, uh, mark up. Here we go. I'm just going to the center lines of my um, markup, and you can see those ones underneath actually fit. So that was was a um, one meter wide verge where they'd marked it. Come down to here, back over to the original edge of the driveway. And there you go, I've got a one meter uh, wide margin around the perimeter of that driveway. So it's really quite simple to set those up. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, might be quite useful. So um, let me know what you think. Thanks, bye.